Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another Madden 17 Ultimate Team game. The team of the year offensive players came out and we used that to bolster our roster a ton. We have a brand new offensive line, Jimmy Graham at the tight end spot and Derek Carr is our new quarterback with that conductor ability. And then on top of that, we had the new team of the year Zeke. We did the rookie premiere set last year for Ezekiel Elliott and that thing's been paying off a ton. First, we got the football outsider version of Zeke, the midseason offensive rookie of the year. And now we have his team of the year card as Eric Berry gets the interception at the start of the game. Only on the second play, and Berry's already making an impact on the offensive end. T.Y. Hilton is our new slot receiver as Carr's first pass is a completion. Second pass, looking to make it a good one as well. But unfortunately, not much to be had right there. Third down and three, trying to convert off the turnover for a touchdown all the time in the world. This new offense. Some lines playing great, but unfortunately, his coverage was just as stout. Couldn't find anything else. Just you know, threw it up for Jimmy Graham one on one. We'll see what he could do. And you know, can't always expect him to make that catch. And we end up selling for the field goal. Not the worst thing in the world since you know our defense did create that field position, and they're gonna do it again. Lawrence Taylor on the recovery, and we get the ball right back in the red zone, throwing it to Zeke out the backfield. And Zeke's gonna get a little gain of one. This actually wasn't the first game I played with this team. This is the third game I played with them, I believe. The first two games. Ezekiel Ali was playing crazy. We won both games, and Zeke was just amazing. So now I'm just trying to get the offense a little, like the passing game, a little bit more um, just chances to make something happen. Unfortunately, not too much. We end up selling for our second field of the game, and that hurts right there because we got off to a great start defensively. And if he gets a touchdown, he just gets the lead just like that, as he has people open, but he just throws the ball away right, right there with Drew Brees. Third down and eight. He's got time. He's got a man, and he's got a dime. Brees finding Jerry Rice. This guy definitely. He had a stacked offense. He had Rice, Moss, and all of these guys. Newsome at the tight end spot as he's looking to throw the screen pass to his man. But he's not going anywhere. I believe that is um, Brian Erlacher that's able to blow that up. Third down and 11. Looking to pass with Breeze again. Trying to convert another third and long. But it goes off the hands of Rice. And now it's fourth down and 11. Going for it at the 43. And he's got his man for the first down. Finding a hole in the zone right there. Next play. Going end zone. Incomplete, almost threw a dime right there. Play action on second down. Both teams not running the ball much. He gets the completion. Not a first down, though, on third down and two. He runs it with AP up the middle. And Peterson running with ferocity. First down and goal. Peterson again. AP trying to take heads off out here. Trying to cap the drive off. But what a big hit to prevent the touchdown. Third and goal. Running it. Peterson is stopped at the one-yard line. Two-minute warning. Fourth down and goal. Pitching it outside. Peterson's gonna walk in for the touchdown. I was anticipating maybe he runs a pitch. He just ran it to the left side instead of the right side like I thought he would. We put a bunch of guys on the right side. His car fumbles the ball, but it goes out of bounds. Gain of five yards, not too bad. Is Ezekiel Elliott running his man over. Zeke's out. Zeke's choking. Look at him go. Oh, baby. Zeke's still on his feet. I'm telling you, man, I really like this new Ezekiel Elliott. Is he the best running back in the game? I don't know. Maybe that David Johnson's better or something like that, but, um... I really like the Zeke card. We also have a Garrett Bunnett as a backup running back. In case we need some tough yardage, so we throw it to Zeke out the backfield. And he's going to get us the first down. Just keep on feeding that man as we run it up the middle. But unfortunately, we get stuffed. Trying to get our first touchdown in the game. We have not been able to convert. The closer we get, the worse we get on the offensive end. But there goes Carr. Carr going to slide down at the three-yard line. Third and two. 25 seconds left. Carr looking to throw to Graham. Oh, upended by the cornerback. And we're going to settle for our third field goal of the the game we still got that focus kicker Chris Boswell out there so we don't miss any kicks as we get some nice pressure right there trying to prevent him from getting any points right before halftime to give him the lead he's trying to take a shot downfield and it's popped up in the air and incomplete great defense so far but we have not been the best on third down but that time the pressure gets there Vaughn Miller with the sack and we will go into halftime up by two points now I feel like it could be better but um you guys know how it goes with me I'm not the best offensive player I don't make the best read sometimes but um we usually play pretty good defense so that's what we're gonna try to lean on once again just not make any mistakes not switch the field position game with a bad turnover or anything like that second down just couldn't see anything open right there and we end up throwing the incompletion third and five hitting jimmy graham for the first down 
you know, I wasn't really too big on having Jimmy Graham on my Mutt teams usually, but when I actually played the franchise we throw with the Graham and coverage right there, I really like passing the ball to Jimmy Graham. He was just such a reliable target, 6'7", high jumping, great spec catch in the middle of the field that I really fell in love with him, and now we have him on our Mutt team as we roll out with Carr, but we throw, we try to throw it to him, but we tie Reek Hill, and that was a bad decision. We probably had the first down, and that was above the line of scrimmage, so that's going to be an illegal forward passing, and instead of a first down, we probably would have gone, and we just kept on running it with Carr. We end up getting fourth and seven, and when we could have gone for it right there, I just decided, you know what? I like the way our defense is get playing. Let's just punt the ball. Let's just hope for the best right there, because offensively, kind of out of it right now. I feel like we're not playing too bad, but it's just that you know we haven't been able to convert our touchdowns. Meanwhile, his one chance, he was able to get a touchdown as he gets that first down. He keeps on throwing that vertical route to the outside, so we got to protect that as he goes downfield for Moss. Looked like he had a step, but Norman's able to break it up at the last second, running the ball. By the way, um... We don't have any team of the year defensive players. I played this before the team of the year defense came out as third down. He does not get the first down. So, you know, next video or two, we'll have the team of the year defensive players like Eric Berry, Lyndon Collins, etc. Fourth down and through two. We're going to pass with Breeze, and he's got his man, but it's out of his hands and out of bounds. Incomplete. He had his guy. I just don't know what he... I, he just missed the read right there. He had him wide open for a second or two, and then he lobbed it on top of that. That really should have been a conversion right there. That was a mistake by us defensively. And now the turnover on downs gives us great field position. End of the third quarter. Third and two. Chad Johnson gets the first down. Chad Johnson isn't going anywhere, man. He's one of my favorite receivers of all time. He's not leaving our team anytime soon. And now we're looking for Randy Moss, but it's intercepted. Buchanan gets it. It's a touchback. And a field goal can give him the lead in the fourth quarter. Darwin is mounting screen pass to Adrian Peterson gain of five yards that was really dumb right there turning the ball over that's those kind of situations you gotta throw the ball away and that's just not in my DNA throwing the ball away as we get pressure off the edge I really gotta put that in my game sometimes just you know throw it away when there's nothing I try to force in the moss and you know I didn't think it would be intercepted but still we just gotta throw that one away because there's always that chance they're down at 13 intercepted Landon Collins getting the ball that's actually the linebacking version of Landon Collins we're gonna get a safety card soon but in the meantime the out position Landon Collins might have made the biggest play of the game as Moss goes up high and comes down with it. We really need to get our first touchdown of the game. Make it a two-possession game. 220 left. Chad Johnson touchdown. Back of the end zone. And this guy actually needs the ball out right here. No idea why. He needed every single time. I'm okay with that, personally. I'd rather get my win. Now, I would... I guess rather have him, you know, try to get the win. It's kind of weird to, you know, have him just need a ball down nine with all three of his timeouts. No idea why he gave up. Maybe he just didn't want to play the game anymore. I think this guy was a subscriber. I heard him on his mic a little bit during the game. Not 100% sure. So I don't know he's just doing something out of respect or what, but I'm good getting to my guy. He ended the game a little bit earlier than it should have ended, but we do get the big three. Our one touchdown. We made our one touchdown count. It was the dagger of the game. So leave a like, leave a like in the video if you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe for more Madden 17 Ultimate Team games, whatever Madden 17 you guys like. And until then, I'll catch you guys next time.